Welcome back, everyone, to Game 5 of the Summer Flight Academy 2020. My name is Ken E. Ray, and today we have a Rebel Alliance versus Galactic Empire game going on between Gray and Slade. So, you know how the drill goes. Let's go into introductions. In the red side, we've got Gray bringing... Gray, what'd you bring? Um, I brought um, my dog with... Uh... Commander, mm -hmm. as leader. Um, I've been kind of trying to workshop a name. I'm thinking of Dutch Planderland. That's an excellent name. Friend. It's also made up of so I'm thinking of uh, Baby Bye Bye Bye. <laughs> <laughs> That's also good. I like that. Uh, so, yeah. All right. So, what's Dutch running today? Ion Cannons. Ion. Oh, yeah, I've got Dutch Vander with his Zion Cannon, as mm -hmm. always, R3 and an Agile Gunner. All right. We brought uh, Arthur Morgan, or uh, Gold Squad Veteran, mm -hmm. with Zion Cannon. And then I have a Tendum, a uh, glorious hero of the re Rebellion. Yep, everyone Zion loves Tendum. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves Tendum. And stabilized S-Foils. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice. So a really quick uh, commentary here. Dutch Vanderlyn, his or er, uh, his Dutch Vanderlyn is the one from Red Dead. My bad. Dutch Vander. Mm. <laughs> oh, there you go. De Demonetized. Dutch Vander uh, basically is just target lock Dutch. Constantly target locks everything and passes off locks to his friends. Ion Cannon Turret is nasty for ship control. Basically just goes for the ionization. R3 you're bringing in because you want double locks with Dutch, which is awesome. Agile Gunner is because you want to be efficient and you don't want to waste an action to turn the turret. You just do that at the end phase. So I dig it. Gold Squadron Vet coming with an Ion Cannon Turret as well. More Ion. 10 num. Everybody loves it. More Ion. <laughs> And Blue Squadron with Ion. And so these S-Foils, they make the B-Wings eligible to do more than one attack a turn, right? Uh, yeah, so I open this. Um, after you perform an attack, which is the primary, uh, I can spend a target lock mm -hmm. to perform a bonus attack on that same target with the cannon. Nice. Ion cannon. So basically, after I... In the yeah, I'm imagining the play here is Dutch passes a lock to one of the B-Wings. That's for free. And then they can just pop that lock for free to get that yep. cannon shot. That's pretty good. And Tendum, everybody loves Tendum. Tendum stresses themselves out. Basically just gets a focused result as uh, spending stress. You really can't go wrong with Tendum. Super good. The, the man's a real workaholic. He likes <laughs> The workaholic. Everybody loves Tendum. I, I think... Uh, out of out of flight academy, I know like half of our players brought Tendum, which is a lot to say about Tendum's performance here. All right, half of them brought Dutch too. Oh yeah, that's true. Half of oh, them yeah. brought Dutch, yeah. and half of them brought Luke. Anyway, um, and seventy five percent played Rebels. So on the that's blue, like <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, look, Rebels is good. Rebels is good for flight academy because Rebels is you know uh, very forgiving. You know. Uh, mm -hmm. It's pretty easy to pick up and learn, and it's got a pretty decent uh, skill ceiling. I like Rebels. Five Blue Squadron Escorts for X-Wings. Super basic jousty list. That's that's pretty much the extent of my skills, uh, but I can't complain. All right. Blue side, Slade, playing Galactic Empire. What'd you bring? Uh, four Academy Pilots. One, two, three. Yep. And I got Zerdic Swarm, which... As advanced targeting computers, so while you perform primary attack against the defender, you have locked dock and roll additional die and change one hit to a crit. Mm -hmm. And during the end phase, if I've already have a, and a, if I already have a damage card on them, I can spend a lock to basically flip basically over one of the damage cards mm -hmm. and make it a crit. So if you save that lock for the end phase, you can flip cards. Correct. That's pretty cool. Then every, you know Vader. Um, score, except the, after you perform an action, I can basically get another free action by spending a force point. Mm -hmm. And then I have advanced star computers. Same thing. Hits can be crits. And against the defender, I can roll one additional die. And if that dies, I change a crit. And then I have fire control systems. When I perform attack, if I have a lock, I can reroll one attack dice. And you cannot spend your lock during this attack. 
Nice. So Darth Vader, classic Dark Lord, being able to chain up to four actions in any given turn if they really want to burn through all their force. And because they're tie advance, yeah, they're getting advanced. a lock means that they're getting that extra attack dice, converting hits to crits. So these two are the crit machines here. They're ready to, like, once the shields are gone, start putting crits on some of the beef out there. It's pretty good. And, of course, yeah. four Academy pilots. Can't go wrong there. That's just a blocking swarm. If they die, they die. And if they live, well, they usually get a lot of value out of just random damage. So solid pick there. Solid pick. All right. Does anyone... Does it here have any questions regarding each other's list? Because if not, we'll go and ask how many points did each of you anybody bring? Can, they, can anybody do K-turns? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. My B-Wings can, I believe. You know, all, all of that list can do K-turns. Y-Wings can't. Oh, wait, Y-Wings can't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Y-Wings can't. I just, uh, I never really do. <laughs> all right, let's go. There you go. Trust your opponent. There they you will go. never do a K-turn. You heard it here never, first. Ever, yep. like they said they wouldn't do a K-turn. I, I promise I won't do a cater. You can trust that. Perfect. You can trust Dutch you that they won't like do a cater. You can always yeah. trust Dutch. Dutch yep. always is a man of his word. Yeah, no, I played yeah, all of Red Dead. I saw it. Yeah. Saw it. All right, pretty all right, good. Let's go. All right. Well, how, what's your point counts? 198. Okay. Okay, so it's a tie. Okay, so it's a Somebody tie. grab that red die really quick. On a hit or a crit, it goes to red. On a blank, it goes to blue. Hit. So red, decide whether or not you want to fly first or second. This is rolling off for the first player token. The first player token basically means that on a tie of initiative, whoever has the first player token is going to resolve all their actions first. All right, so okay. Empire is getting the first player token. Rebels want to fly last. It uh, doesn't look like we're going to have too many ties up in here, uh, other than probably Zetric and the Gold Squadron guy, but oh, that four. might matter. There are six ties, honestly. That's true. There are six ties. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> let's go ahead and get those obstacles set up. Uh <sighs> All right, first player token goes to the Empire. Empire, put down one of your first obstacles. What obstacles did you bring? Three, two debris fields, two debris. one asteroid. Two debris fields and one asteroid. All right. I love debris. Okay. I brought uh, three debris fields. Uh, wow. It's freaking Christmas for Gosh, me. Dang, you, were, you guys are making me happy with these. Yeah, Liz. Stress, 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 stress. Now, you know, Tendum loves this kind of stuff. Tendum will ram through debris just for fun. Tendum will just ram through debris will like, yeah, this is, you know, as much as he wants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's too close. Yep. Many times have I intentionally run through debris fields with Tendum. Whoa, that Tendum is wow, so that's, good. That's right there. I got two debris fields. Okay, so. Here's my destroyed for you. Mm -hmm. Mixing oh, it up. No. Somebody no. brought a rock. Bro, mix it up. And we got our hidden debris out there. Gosh, it's so hard to oh. see some of these. Mixed up while we're playing the spell now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the this is, this game has now become the sprawl. Everybody, go ahead and roll to get the job. Our mission is to. Take some ships and fly in space. All right, so it looks like all the debris is set out there. Let's go into deployment. Deployment goes from lowest to highest, starting with the first player token. Lowest on the table here seems to be ones with all the Academy pilots. So, Slade, where are all these pilots going? Slade. We're going to see some more of that. Beautiful TIE fighter formation flying today. I will say so, yeah. All right. Makes me feel good inside watching those tight turns. Is that it for the. Oh, wait, I do got because I have a three. So, yep. Yeah. All ones went. There are no twos. Are there any twos? Is one of these uh, B wings a two? two? All right, so there a two got to go down. All right, so put that Zertic back really quick and let's see where this B wing goes. Wait for it. 
Steady. 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 Oh. All right. There, there, there he went. He's face checking. Let's go. All right. My turn again. Uh huh. You may go ahead with Zertic because they're on three. And then I believe the gold squadron vet is going to go after Zertic. Stellar. All right. And then do we got any fours? Fours us. Uh, everyone else is a four. All right. So Rebels finish your deployment, and then Darth Vader, you will wrap it up. Wrapping up with the Vader boy. All right, last but not least, let's get Vader down on the table. Just watch out for those debris. Yeah, They're those really hard debris. to see. The debris can seize. <laughs> totally not my <laughs> <laughs> yeah, There we go. All right, that's pretty that good. Cool. All right, kicking it off. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right, uh, set your dials. We're going to kick it off in the planning phase first. So, dials, in, the, dials, dials. so in the planning phase, we are going to go ahead and set our maneuvers in secret, and then soon we will do some activation stuff. But if you've followed us this far, you already know how this whole thing goes. Uh, you guys really don't like when I have my car here. Can somebody promote me? No. Whoops. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get that done real quick. Like, no, Greg, you use Ion too much. You can't have it. Sorry. Should have asked me two weeks in advance, like professionals. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. It sucks. I can't do it. Can't do my PTO because I didn't request it eight months in advance, apparently. Uh, I didn't what? fill out the form in triplicate hey. again, so I'm uh, screwed, I guess. <laughs> guess I'm not taking any days off ever again. <laughs> So I'll just I'll not do anything, I guess. <laughs> I take my days off at work. I didn't, I didn't plan my uh, tonsils to get inflamed four weeks ago, so I can't go to the hospital. That's your problem. You should be. It's your body. You should foresee it. Quit complaining, wage slave. <laughs> Seriously, get back to work. <laughs> hey, gray gruel in the cafeteria Great. today. All right, let's roll. Let's ro Autobots roll out. That has dark oh, locations roll because out. of my name. <laughs> Autobots roll out. This gruel is especially gray. Especially gray. Oh no. It beats the soil and green. <laughs> we don't have enough okay. budget for soil and green. Roll, roll, everybody ready? Or... Yeah, life isn't that cheap. <laughs> all right, looks good. So Empire's got all their dials set. One more dial for the Rebels. Rebels, are you good? Yeah. Alright, Rebels is good. Then we go into the no systems problems. phase. Does anyone have any toys for the systems phase today? Nope. My toys don't count, right? Uh, nah, S foils happen at the yeah. beginning of the activation phase for the particular <laughs> ship right before it activates, so yeah. you're good. Alright, keeping it simple then. Let's go into activations. Lowest to highest. Yep, TIE Fighter starting it off. Try to keep those dials flipped up. Perfect. Perfect. Yep, taking we'll focuses. Nice, yep, nice and tight. Mm hmm. Taking the focus. Nice. Oof. Oops, that's too much. Pretty that's good. Pretty good. So far, so tight. Tight? Tie, that's why they don't call them tie fighters for nothing. That's right. They're they're called that because of how tight they fly. I have to go quit now. <laughs> well, all right. I, I have a report. Here we go. <laughs> that's that's a final twos. warning. Twos. All right. So twos. I'm calling HR. <laughs> Fantastic. Go go call HR. I've been here for ten years. So, blue squadron pilot. 20. S4 uh, opening and moving forward. Kidoki? 
And focus. focus up, yep. Going in to do a face check here. Which is actually not Which bad at all. These guys are super all. beefy. Uh, strong. Yep, alright, so, so three. Am I going? No, um, I think your fleet goes next. Yep. Zertic has to go next. Alright. Alright. Yep. Yep. Waiting it out right now. Pretty good. Alright, so, uh, gold squad. Gonna zip ahead. Well, nice, uh, nice. What's interesting is normally this we see the opposite plays. Rebels normally do the one forward to like play it nice and easy to see what the Empire is gonna do. And Empire have to go fast because they got no choice. But we've have a total reversal right now. Which I'm okay with. I like watching what my opponent's gonna do first. <laughs> well that's that's what I'm saying is that rebels normally do one forward to see what the other side does instead of going three forward, whereas Empire has to like they can't do a one forward. They usually have to do a two forward. Well, my B wings, a three forward is a blue maneuver too, which is that's true. Yeah, because on the four forward, your B wing stresses out. <laughs> there it is. Yep. 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 Ten, Ten numb. Numb, Ten numb. Right there. Going forward was just a little too difficult. Oh God! It's just. It's too fast. It's, it's right. like I can't do it, man. I can't freaking do it. I can't do it. I'm going. I'm going over 60 miles an hour. I've right. never got right. more than 60 yeah. before. All right. Can I get over? No. Yeah, you're good. You're good, Darth Vader. No, he just wants that focus, doesn't he? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, he's just gonna do a. Back to one of yours. Nice. Yep. So we go to engagement. I don't think anyone's got anything in engagement. Uh, so you're more than eligible to check with highest to lowest, but if not, we go right to the end yeah. phase. So... Yep. And if you've got nothing there, go ahead and clear out your greens. And then we, as being the end phase, by the way, there I know is one ship on the table that does have an end phase ability. So uh, it I does. Can't do no, it's a Dutch. Dutch has Agile Gunner, so does Dutch want to move the turret anywhere? Somebody's lagging. Gray, everything good? Um... Okay, Dutch will not turn the turrets, so turrets are still facing straight forward. We finish our end phase and go right back to planning. Hit it up. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh. Yep, I can hear you. Hello? Yep, I can hear you. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. There was an issue with the audio. Oh, no worries. Oh, no worries. Honestly, sometimes that's exactly how I feel about my boobs. Ah, oh, whatever. It's like, you know... Yeah, you can have that and have that of like, will they be here or there? What moves are they going to make me at? Next. Okay, cool, cool. You just like, whatever cool, move cool. doesn't cool. frigging crash me into a rock, and we'll figure out the rest from there. Yeah. 
Well, that move not cause me. Right. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> Unless you're ten numb, then you're like, which move crashes me right into a debris cloud? All right, I'm ready to roll. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, all right, what's the quickest and most efficient? <laughs> I just want to stress the shit out of myself. Which news article should I read first? All right. Um, <laughs> all right. Systems phase, blast right through. Activations phase, Empire go. Yeah, here we go. TIE Fighter's coming in. Oh, you're approaching me? <laughs> Nani? Is, it, come from me? <laughs> yeah, Is that what you're there? Try to keep that dial faced up. Perfect, perfect. Try and succeeding. You're doing, you're doing it. Nice, nice. You're get, oh, you're, oh. You're Look at this. I don't, I don't like the sound. Of it. Ooh, I don't like that. I really don't here. like that at all. Like shit. <laughs> Look at this I practice. Can the, I can hear the screaming of the Tie Fighters in my head. Yeah, no, I love <laughs> those. <laughs> the Tie Fighter re. <laughs> I can't even do it. <laughs> no, honestly, that's that's kind of how it sounds like. Ah! Uh, <laughs> but George, what should it sound like? Okay, like what if a person yelled? Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to sound like. <laughs> All right, pretty good, pretty good. All right, let's see what the uh, blue squadron pilot does right. now. The the initiative two. Blue squadron pilot. It means Arctic Storm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let's, let's yep. see. All right, going forward. Yep. Looks like they uh, they see your Tie Fighters and they're raising you a B. -way. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, I, I don't know. You you have a lot of arcs on there, Empire. So not bad. So not not bad. But we'll see how that. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. We, we will we will see. But I I see four Tie Fighters with focuses. Top notch. Okay, so uh, B Wing went forward. Uh, they took a focus, and now we see what Zerdic does. Um. Oh man, is it in range? Okay, yep, we're chancing the lock. Let's let's yeah, measure that range. Alright, I gotta measure your range. Let's see. Oh, oh so close. Still. Still. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's it's guaranteed next turn Zerdic's getting a lock on something. All right, so Zerdic went, uh, and now Zerdic all the rebels are going to finish it off, and then uh, Darth Vader. Okay, okay. Here come the Wow Wing. Up in the Wow Wow Wing. Yep, that's that is the theme song. And then Dutch. Nice, good. So right there, doing the three on the outside, two on the inside, keeping the formation tight. Uh, and Dutch, good old Dutch is gonna try his uh, his special trick. He's yep. Do, do a target lock. Or... Dutch is doing Dutch things, Dutch taking a target lock on the thing. only target um, that they have there, uh, just by a hair. <laughs> no, but that's that's one of those calculated things, right? Okay. So um, who's this lock going to? So, who's this lock? Obviously, Dutch gets Obviously, one. Dutch gets one. Dutch Vanderpool. It's not gonna really be relevant right now because this is the only thing I have on All right, so it looks like we're giving it to. I'll give it to Blue Pilot. All right, so Blue Squadron Pilot is getting a target lock on Red as well. Which, which for those of us that are looking at the overlay, Red is Academy Pilot One. Do that to me. All right. Okay. And ten up. Ten All right, ten num moving out there, seeing if they can pinch themselves some tie advance. 
Now Tenum doing a white doing two, it. so keeping the stress, which is what Tenum wants. Which is what Tenum. All right, so Tenum will then uh, do his own target lock. So Tenum cannot right. do okay. any actions because they are stressed. Because they are... Oh, that's right. Sorry. That's okay, because Tenum essentially has a focus right now. Yeah. yeah, that's that's it. All right, Vader going to that one. Vader. Yeah, what's it's our a bad play? Way. What's our play here? Oh, this is this fun. Uh... make a target lock. Lock. Okay, let's see. Come on! Ooh, hoo, hoo, by a hair! Ooh, by a hair! Uh... All right, Ted and, and I'm getting uh, locked on by Darth Vader. I'm going to take another action. Yep. For... Spending the force to take a focus. Yep. Yep. Vader is known for Vader double botting all of their shots all the time. All of their shots. Echoing for some reason. Okay, that's it. Okay. Take it off with the shoot bangs. That's First it. engagement of the take of the game. Shoot. Vader Shoot's starts ready. it off at initiative six. So we go highest to lowest. Okay. All right. So now Vader had range. Does Vader have an arc? He absolutely does. How does no, he Vader... no found... Oh my. Hey, how does Vader not have arc? He has range. Yeah. No, that doesn't make any sense. So that's why uh, we have a TO, and I'm gonna say that's in range. Thank you, TO. <laughs> All right. Uh. Two uh, three because of the target lock. Three because of the target lock. That's cool. Where do I need to put these? Uh, you can plop them right down here. That'll be fine. All right, Vader taking the shot. Hit, hit. Spending the focus now to turn that into three hits, and one of those hits can become a crit with ATC. And Vader did not have to spend their lock there, so Ten Num has to defend. A crit is a eight, by the way, for the state. A crit is, by the way. So Ten Num defending with one dice, but being at range three gives them an extra dice here. So rolling two dice against hit, hit, crit. Oof, Ten Num getting the luckiest roll they could. So taking the crit on the shield, uh, but honestly, Ten Num got lucky there, and it was pretty much a free shot for Vader. No real resources lost there. No All right, so then it goes to the next highest here. So I'm pretty sure that's any of the fours, either Dutch or Ten Num, on the rebel side. Yeah. So Ten Num is going to try their shot. They can either take out Zertic or Vader. And Vader does not have their focus token there, so let's get rid of that. They spent it. Yeah, but he's lost force, right? What's that? Yeah, they can use the force to mod their uh, the result. Can, yes. But am I going? So, well, yeah, that's the thing, right? No, I mean, that's a good point, because uh, even if Vader did that, then that means you are burning through Vader's primary resource, Vader which is their force, fight. and that they need that yeah, for those bonus actions. Yeah. <laughs> They'll get one back in the next They'll turn. Back in the next turn. Oh, However, you know, that's kind of like a uh, long-term planning there. If you go for it, you're trying to burn down those resources. Um, whereas if you go for Zerdic directly, you might just get raw damage. I think that's what I want to do right now, actually, is go Zertic. On Zertic? Yep, all right, so trying to shoot at Zertic. Like, that's range two or three. Like, Zertic is like a allergy medication, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, him? when my eyes are red an and I shot. can't... Uh, no, it's not an obstructed shot. I was going to do That's a Zertic uh, ad. Is it range 3 or range 2? Uh, range it's going to be a range 3 shot on Zertic. So range Zertic's dice. getting 4 dice here, but they have no ability to mod. And Tendum is getting 3 dice here, and they will have the ability to spend their stress on focus results. So let's do it. 
All right, so there's the focus right. result. Are we right, spending here. stress? Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> okay, spending the stress to get two spending hits onto Zertic at range three. Zertic rolling four dice, Zertic. normally three, but they're getting that extra dice because of the range three. So let's see what he gets. Nice. Nat naturally evaded. Nice. All right, two evades. And then we move on. So Dutch goes next. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Yeah, we got one target in range with the main cannons. Target. Unfortunately, not close enough for the ions yet. Okay, looks like Dutch is going to use their primary like attack on uh, Academy Pilot 1. It'll be a range three shot, so Dutch is firing two dice uh, with a target lock. And Academy Pilot will be dodging with three plus one for the range bonus, so four dice total. All right, two focuses there. You may spend the target lock if you want to re-roll those. Okay, going to spend it. All right, so you may re-roll them, and we lose the target lock from Dutch. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. All right, so that lock goes away there, and yep, the TIE Fighter does not need to roll. Then we keep going down the line, so the Gold Squadron and Vet can go. Gold Squadron and Vet can go. Oh, Sorry, yeah, right. Zertic uh, goes, Sorry, yeah. but, uh, Never. yeah. Yep. Everybody forgets Zertic. Everybody hates Zertic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're looking at a range three shot on Captain right. Pilot 1. Uh, now, the Gold Squadron Pilot does have a focus, so they have to do a double mod there, so we're likely going to see at least a hit go through, and I'm thinking two hits, to be honest, but let's see. Okay, so a crit, and then they can spend the target lock if they want to re-roll. Oh, no, that's not the gold squadron. That's the blue squadron. Never mind. All right, so one crit on uh, Academy Pilot 1. We're just looking for one evade result here. Or three. How about three? Or three. All right. It's not my turn. Almost, because now the blue squadron pilot. Because now the blue squadron so I've trained you well. Yep. T TIE fighters are about to have their day in a sec. They're like, we're, we're ready. We've got to hit we're, some We're ready. Come on. Up. Come on. We got all focuses. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So it looks like our blue squadron pilot has range and angle on all the TIE fighters, but most of them are obstructed and at range three. But the yellow one is the only one that's not. So Academy pilot two is range three, but not obstructed. Oh, he's not obstructed yet. Yeah. yeah. So everybody but yellow so would be rolling five of eight dice. Yellow. yellow would roll four. Oh, yeah. Five for yellow. Yep. So you want to do that? But we have a lock on red. Yeah, but he's still rolling all those dice. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of dice. So I'm going to roll on yellow instead. Okay. Rolling on yellow. So we are going three dice. Range three into yellow. Gotta focus. Gotta focus. Yep. Let's see what we got. Oof. Oof. Three focus uh, results, we're... which means, yep, trading I the focus know. for I triple hits. <laughs> there you go. Three hits go. onto that TIE Fighter. We need to see at least one evade result, or that TIE Fighter just bites it. Oh, three evade <sighs> results. God. <laughs> Empire <laughs> rolling <laughs> hot tonight. <laughs> Empire so rolling hot tonight. Very good. All oh, right, that's Empire. That's so Academy pilots, go go show. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry you do this, but you already know what's up. Darth Vader wants to know what you learned at your school. He learned to do a deck. All right, so. All right, we're going to have 10 now. Yep, uh, looks like yellow is going into 10 numb. Don't worry. Rebels got the HP to tank the first salvo, but that's that I gotta say, a very unlucky first un unlucky first round for the Rebs. 
All right, so two dice there. And Crit and a focus, so they're spending that focus. focus two hits so into ten numb. Ten numb trying to dodge with one evade dice here. Let's see what we got. Ah, so two shields. Hit crit into ten numb shield. Okay, next. So I, just, I can't roll is the thing. Well, I, I hear that X-Wing is a dice game. Is no way, really? Yep, so <laughs> okay, yeah. never. if you ever do something no, that, that doesn't work out, remember, there is no skill involved in X-Wing. It's all dice. That's not what I'm saying, and you know. Now you're getting it. I'm glad you, I'm glad you see it the right way. Alright, all right. Yeah. two dice, I'll turn them two dice. All right. Yep. So All red right. going into ten two num. Hit. Yep. Wait. Two okay. hits. So this is red into ten num. Is that correct, Gray? Right, or, right, or, right. Uh, my only dice has red into ten num. And what range was that? One more time. Range three. What range, range three. Okay. So uh, ten nums get one more dice. One more dice. Two dice. Yep. So roll that extra dice in here. But uh, let's see what we got. It's two dice. Yep, so we got it. So we got a blank and an evade. So one goes through. So oh. 10 num is half points. Damn. All right, well, let's try to make it no points in a second here. You mean full points? No points would be bad for you. Full points. You want full points. You were right. Boy, 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 boy. That's range three, right? We're going to say that. Three, right? okay. uh, yeah, that's range three. On 10 num, are you just going to keep focusing on 10 num? I'm going to hit 10 num until he's dead. You know what? That's cla classic Empire move right there. Focus fire, let's go. Okay, so a hit. And 10 num rolling two evade dice to see if they can stop the damage from going through here. Oh no, alright. So oh my gosh, 10 num takes their first damage card there. No, you're right, Ken. Dice have nothing to do with the game. Dice have... Game. No! Sorry. Skill has nothing to do with the game. Uh, no, only one damage card. You Only one hit went through. Oh my goodness. Dude. I thought it was two. Oh, no, there only one hit went through. Is it going to be my lucky day? If you're at home and you're listening, I'm being completely facetious. This oh. game is completely oh. about positioning. And if I say anything about dice, I am being completely sarcastic. <laughs> okay, All right. here we go. Range three, right? Brown into 10 num here at range 3. Double hits right I, there. I don't even have freak to spend the focus tokens. Are you kidding me, dude? No, but that's good positioning for the TIE Fighters there. All four arcs on one target. That's right. the play. 10 num gets one more defense die here. So roll that extra die here. We know that one damage is going through at least. All right. So one more damage goes through. 10 num at two hull left. Gosh, damn. Very favorable opener for the Empire. All right, that's it for me. So. All right, this is the end phase. Clear off your greens if you got them, and get, get ready for planning. Get rid of target locks. No, Dutch is gonna move his. Uh, yep. Indicator. Yep. All right, pretty good. Alan, I'm so I'm so proud of you so for setting up all your arcs like that. Just yeah, no, that going. was that was a very good. Uh, that's that's exactly what you need to do. You bring a bunch of cheapo platforms that everyone thinks is garbage, and you're like, no, I'm gonna point them all at one thing. They're, if you play them right, they are garbage, but enough garbage will, will suffocate you. All the garbage points in the same direction. <laughs> garbage for the win. Yeah. So make, so well, make point five past light speed. No, you are. You're doing good. You're doing good. All right. Let me. All right. Get your counters up really quick. I omitted to do this at the beginning. It's like you did good, kid. You did good. Well, the trick now no, the trick, kid, don't is get to exactly to maintain exactly. your lead because your rebels lead. are closing the gap. And these guys know how to brawl. Oh yeah, they could turn. They could turn they, the tables on this game very yeah, quickly. Yeah, they are. They they delete shit at range one. So just be mindful of that. Ten num with two hull is just as just as dangerous yeah. as ten num. Yeah, pretty hull. much the only person that has a chance at taking ten num off before they activate is Darth Vader. But 
like, Darth Vader's in a good spot to do that. Ted Num, on the other hand, is going to have to do fancy yeah, footwork in order to not get initiative killed. All right. Counters are up. And I put the points awesome. on the wrong side of the overlay. Sorry about that. I will fix that right now. All righty. Let's roll. What about to roll out? All right. All right. So all dials being set there for the Empire. Just give yeah, Rebels a sec. Rebels a second. All right. Well, let's see what's... Okay. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Yep. So going into systems and then right into activations. TIE Fighters... Going for what looks like a disengage, taking a focus there. You said anything about disengaging? <laughs> well, I mean, unless they're uh, <laughs> unless you anticipate everybody jumping in front of those tie fighters, this looks like a disengage to me. But yeah, pretty good. All right, so all facing away, just barely clipping that debris with Brown, but Brown is gonna smash into that debris next turn. Right, uh, it's your turn. All right. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Zoomed way out. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the so, B wings are, or I'm sorry. Are, or I'm sorry. Looks like the blue squadron <laughs> pilot goes in there, so they're doing a soft two. And I uh, gotta focus. And then uh, Zertik. Mm -hmm. yeah, hard three? No, soft three, so doing a bank. Interesting. What's your play here, Zertik? What's your play here, What's your game? <laughs> okay. So barrel rolling, try to keep an arc on something. Yep. Possibly even blocking Possibly. Uh, Ted Numb. Okay, so then, okay. so yep, gold squadron. Yep, gold squadron. Squad boy. Okay, and then what okay. are we doing here? Probably rotating that arc, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So we're looking for, to ionize some Tie Fighters this yeah. turn. Alrighty. And then, and then, we go on fours. Right, here's where. Up. Nice, uh, nice. Uh, Dutch got what they it, wanted, yeah. and they're gonna have Ark with their Ion. That's nice. All right. So what's Dutch uh, gonna do? I, finally, my have my Okay. So it looks like Dutch is gonna be doing target locks. So take your pick. Almost the entire Empire team can get locked. Yeah. Dutch. Well, I forgot how many points am I at since I'm at half health. You got 28 so far. You got 28. Thanks. I forgot about that. Alrighty. I'm going to target lock Academy 2, the yellow one. Okay, so TIE Fighter Yellow, Academy 2 is getting a target lock from Dutch, who is sharing the lock. Oh, no, can I can I change it? Sorry, I don't oh, want it to be okay. two. Okay. 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 It'd be three, and can I get it to go pilot? Okay, so it's gonna be on three. Okay, so you're putting it on green, and then you're gonna give it to the blue squadron pilot. Is that what you said? Blue squadron. Uh, gold pilot. Gold pilot. All right. Awesome. So the other Y wing is getting a lock on them as well. So that tells us that Dutch. And Gold Squadron Pilot are going to try to take out Green. Does Dutch get the extra one? Extra lock? Yeah, they may take an extra lock for R3. Yeah, I'm going to take it on Zertik. Okay, so Zertik okay, so is getting the free lock here from Dutch. 
And for those of us that are wondering, R3 Astromech allows us to take a lock after doing the target lock action for the same pilot. Dutch cannot share the lock twice in the same turn. It also raises the path from one target lock per ship from two. Now, for the move, that might uh, cause me some harm. All right, let's, let's see what's going on. So Tendum doing... Yep, taking it, uh, put smashing in yeah, there, taking, taking the stress. So at least they're gonna get the mod there. And honestly, that's not the worst move. If that actually finished executing, you would have been pointing possibly away. So now you're at least gonna be able to shoot your guns at something, unless we'll see what Vader does. Ready? Yep. Yep. One four. Oh. Okay. Yep. So Tendum yep. probably so gonna be safe. Gonna be... I mean, they're dead this turn, but they're they're gonna be safe from from getting initiative killed. They're dead this turn. Yeah. Probably. I foresee Tendum dying this turn. No, oh, because I don't have any arcs on. No, Academy Pilot Red will uh will take. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh you know what? That's that's true because Tendum is probably going to initiative kill Red. So never mind. Yep. So Vader, kind of missing out on the ability to do anything this turn. Yeah, you're right. Um... Yep, just taking a focus. Yeah, you you would have thought that like with that soft one, Vader might have been able to get the lock and just wipe off ten num in the right yeah. before. Yep, but that's all right. That's that's the conservative play. That's the conservative play. All right, uh, let's go to the to engagement. So Vader, no shot there. So we're just gonna start off with rebels. Knock him up. He doesn't have a shot. Nope. Hey, wait, hold up. Let's try to see. Oh. Unless Vader starts shooting at Zertic, we got no shots. I can't. So, okay, so. Yep, so we're thinking Tendum is probably going to start it so they can shoot before they die. <laughs> yeah. We know that Red, so Academy Pilot 1, is probably the only one with arc on ten num, and that'll be a range one shot with uh, with a focus. But freaking the whole Rebel Alliance has arc on red, so I can't imagine that they live very long. The squad has a focus and a target lock on, on, on this guy. So I'm going to shoot. All right, but um, j just to warn you, if they fail to kill Red, Red will kill Tendum. That is the decision you're making. You're taking that risk. I'm guiding the risk. That's a the risk on my part. Okay, so looking to try to clear as many TIE Fighters out in one round as possible. Tendum is going for something else. What are you What are you shooting at, Tendum? It might be it might be me, but it's what I'm just what I'm trying to go for. Which one are you shooting? Well, yeah. Uh, All right, shooting brown. All right. Academy pilot four, range one, with a stress to use the focus there. So this is what we were talking about earlier. Tendum being the knife fighter here. He's a knife fighter. Yep. All right, here we go. Four dice into brown. Oof, that feels Jesus. so bad. So Tendum can spend the stress right, right now. <laughs> so we can spend our stress there to convert that into a hit with one hit going into brown. Are we doing that? or? Because we can also save the stress if we want to use it for the defense. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to... Uh, oh, no. Okay. 
So it looks like we are not going to use the stress for offensive stuff. We're going to save it for the defense. No hits. So no hits on Brown. Oh, never mind. Yes, they want to hit. They want to use the stress for the hit. All right, so one hit on Brown. We're looking for one evade result for Brown. Oof, just focuses. But are they going to just spend their focus? Maybe they anticipate getting more. Oh, they're taking the damage because they think there's more shots coming in. Not bad. That, that's, a, that's a pretty calculated move. I like it. All right. <laughs> no, that was. I think that that was the right caller. All right, so the Y-Wing has Ark with their Ion Cannon turret on two of the ships on red and green. Uh, shooting red. Okay, shooting at red. Now, your lock is on green, so are we just shooting at red regardless, or what's the play here? Is that range two? I know, yeah, I know it's on. Okay, well, we need to save 10 Num's life, right? Is that is that the play here? All right, cool. So range two with the ion cannon. So three dice going into red. This is from the gold squad. Well, actually, the that Y wing shouldn't go yet. Dutch Vander should be going first because they're on four. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's okay. You're measuring from the same one. Measuring from this. Dutch is the red dial. Dutch is the red. Okay, so they can do the same thing. They can also shoot they into can red. Also shoot into I will, yeah. Okay. So, basically the same so, attack here, except it's coming from Dutch. Uh, Dutch has no mods on this one, so it's just three dice naked into red. All right, two hits. All right, two hits. So we're looking for at least one we're evade result. In order to stop being ionized, yeah, it's red. No oh. evades. So, are we spending the focus? All right, spending the focus to only take a damage, but no ionization. Red. Yep. So one damage caught on red, and that focus is gone. All right. Now, now the Y wing can go because they're on three. Okay. So yeah, so same. Deal. Yep. So shooting in the ion cannon into red so, right now. Three okay. dice, no mods here. Yeah. Crit, crit hits. Yeah. This is probably gonna get an ionization result, but we'll see in a second. Yep, so one evade there, which means we take a damage on red, and the other one is going to be an ion token. Brown, yep, so red should have uh, two damage cards on them. All right, and now they also take one ion token, so they are ionized. Yep, half points on... Oops, so you're getting 11 points, Rebels. Okay. Yeah, uh, uh, this guy right here. He is ionized. I'm okay, sure. yep, red is ionized there, and then Blue Squadron Pilot finishes it off. I mean, this is pretty much the kill. Yeah, range one with a focus range. and a target lock, four dice. Hard to argue with that. Yep, hit, hit, hit. Yep. Can spend the focus to turn that into another hit for four hits. Uh, uh, yep, there's no way to survive this. All right, so taking three damage cards. 22 points. 
points. Yep, 22 points on the board for the Rebels. Academy Pilot 1 is down. Ten num lives for now. <laughs> Ten num is gonna live for now. What an interesting Four. turnaround, Rob. That is a pretty play. interesting turnaround. Where uh, before Ten num was almost dead, and now Ten num is deleting ships. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's see. Does uh, any of the so like, Tie Fighters yeah, have arc on have anything? Much Does Green have arc on Ten num? I was, uh, that's the only fire that could. If he does, he's like way Yeah, I mean, if he has arc, this yeah, could be amazing. Arc, this could be amazing. I, I, I will be very good for you. I would probably lose my mind if he had arc. We're about to see. Oof. Yep. Oof. Yep. Oof city, yeah. No, yeah, Rebels ID that red was the only one that could do it, so that was part of the win condition. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Okay, back to see yep. how the Rebels can get yep. out of this shenanigans. Will That's Rebels the take the L? Will Rebels be able to get out of this? That, get rid of all your green tokens and then come back Will to Will the it. Empire survive this? Two I games. mean, we've got we've got Ty Advance swinging around now. Starting to do work. Zertic basically kind of not doing much for most of the game. But uh, you can you can imagine that now they're gonna they're gonna swing right in. I mean, I hope, because so far those TIE Fighters have been the hardest workers. We're kicking our ass over here trying to save Vader. It's like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah, the Empire needs to start focusing their arc on the Rebel like they did that first encounter. Yeah, that, that first turn out right there where they were going for the disengage. I, I I I understand that like sometimes that's good for like your aces, but for your fodder, that was kind of... Just, just aiming. You're just keeping your butts out, getting shot in the back. And tie fighters are gonna have to do some radical repositioning. No, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, yeah, we're gonna have to do some pretty red maneuver shit in order to, uh, in order to become relevant for this turn. And will that save them? Losing action. No, yeah, I mean, sometimes though, it's it's worth if you can get arc, naked dice, but. The alternative is just getting shot for free. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Pretend that didn't happen. Quick time check, everybody. There's 28 minutes left on the clock. I can foresee maybe th four more turns here. So just be mindful of your points and states here. Empire ahead by about six points. Uh, good. Got him. Okay. Rebels is good. Empire is good. Slam through Empire. systems. Go into activation. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. That's too late. No, if you're not ready, we haven't done anything yet. Um... Just be very mindful of the board state right now and what the Rebels are likely going to be able to do. They are the masters at just going one forward and shooting you in the ass, so. Uh, let's see here. I'll just do that. Whatever. Let's take up my guns here. You ready? You Rebels ready? are free boys. Ready? You ready? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's do it. Activating yeah, it. Just, yep. Uh, Sometimes that's what you need to do. Sometimes. You just gotta yeah. do just make a stress, you know. No, yeah. If you can get an arc on target, that's better than not. Freaking give me this. Just grab it from the grab it from the stockpile. I'm just trying to save time, but the game doesn't want me to save time. Okay, so we All got right, a K brown, turn on brown. four. Yep, Brown also doing it. Brown. Oh, I was wrong. I thought I was gonna slam it out debris. I was wrong. Yeah, you underestimate my pilot skills. I, I did. This guy, Red yeah, is yeah, not a thing power. anymore. Uh, they are dead, wait, but the pretty cool. Nice but, throwback. Nice throwback. Throwback Thursdays with the... All right, so then this. green... Uh-oh. Yep. All right, cool. Green but, was right, going to take okay, the stress yeah. anyway, so they take two stress now, and they're going to see whether or not they just crit themselves. I just crit myself. 
Let's, let's see what they got. Uh, safe. Cool deal. I'm still in. All right. Them. All TIE fighters are now pointing in a relevant direction. In for the grand. So now let's see what the B Wing does. Blue Squadron pilot. Does a two there, but bumps, unfortunately, so loses their action. But that B Wing is anticipating some TIE advance coming in. Okay, now let's keep going. The yellow Y Wing, Gold Squadron. Hard three. Doing a. Sorry. Yeah, does Zerdic go first? Sorry, yeah, Zerdic goes through. Sorry. My bad. All right, does a two there. All right, Zerdic, what's your play? Oh, good Archdodge. Yep, here. that is. Yeah, yep. Gonna start doing work. It's gonna start doing he work. Went, right? He's already went. Uh, he, could be, he might have you uh, arc. Right no, now. yeah, the B wing has arc. The B wing has arc. I think. That, that means you probably have arc on that. Yep. But uh, yeah, so what's uh, what's your play? Because the B wing two, so blue squadron pilot, the one that says bumped at the bottom of the thing, they already went. Tendum hasn't gone yet. All right, so putting it on Dutch Vander. Okay, target lock on Dutch Vander. Try to keep those dials up. <laughs> All right, so now Zerdic went. Yeah. All right. So then, so then our escort here goes. That might be outside of range two for the ion cannon. So, but takes the stress there. Can't really do much about that now. All right, so now we got to see what the Rebel Stars are doing. Ten Num and Dutch. Dutch doing a soft two there. Keeping the arc in a relevant direction for their turret. So they're definitely going to be able to shoot at Zetric, but they are taking an auto stress for hitting the debris, and they got to roll for that crit. Let's see what Vader's going to do. Hold on, hold on. Dutch has to take a stress, and they have to roll for their crit. And then we got to see what Tendum be doing. He'd be doing Tendum things. Yeah, just stressing themselves out. Yeah, sure. so, uh... Okay, oh. safe, safe. All right, Tendum. All right, let's see. Hard four, yep. Slam through the rock, taking a stress, trying to disengage. Uh, but brown and green have still got arc. Yep, probably not. You're gonna have to <laughs> kill these Tie Fighters first. Yep. Okay, well, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. You know? maybe I'll That's get true lucky. because they did a four hard and then they hit the debris, according to chat. So they need to also roll for crit. You already did, didn't you? Already did. They rolled for Dutch, not for Ten though. So this is gonna matter because Ten Num has no shields. All right, he's wishing for a crit. Safe. Oh. Dang it. But ten be double stress, and that's gonna you have two stress. That's gonna limit ten num's options going forward here a lot. That that is I mean assuming ten num survives this turn. Assuming ten num survives this Alright. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Talon roll. Possibly. Yep. Yes, I did. Double stress. That's really bad for Vader. They are going to be doing no actions for two straight turns. For two straight. Yeah. Yep. And they put themselves in three different arcs. That's like 60 something, 70 points for Rebels right there. However, they got themselves an arc on the one they had. They already have a lock on. Did you take a lock on Tendum? That, that, yep. Yeah, you did. Like, All right. Well, sixty something. At least you got your three force to mod your stuff. Yeah. 
We'll see what happens. We will see. Don't trade Vader for Ted Nub is all I'm saying. Well, that's not my plan here. That's right. Plan is, the plan yeah. is to kill Ted Nub and not take any damage. I like it. My plan is more meticulous than you could ever think. Of course, of course. All right, so let's do it. Vader, kick it off. All right. All right, Ted Nub, you might as well just say your final. Yeah, Ted Nub, just jump out of the cockpit. Come on. We have the high <laughs> ground. Up, go to hyperspace. You're going to die. <laughs> Don't know it. All right, so we're looking yeah, at range two the... on Ten Num obstructed. So Ten That's Num is going obstructed. to be able to get um, two dice for the defense. Vader only gets three dice. They normally get two, but that target lock lets them get one more. So they get three. Yeah. Well, the only mods we've got here are a target lock and a force, which is basically a lot. Oh, we might not even need it. So two crits. Do we use FCS in order to get the free reroll without spending the lock? Yes, I do. That's right. You paid for it. You might as well use it. That's a focus. Looks like we're spending a... Yes. Nice. So that turns into a hit. And because we have ATC, that turns into a crit. So three crits on 10 num. Um, You're going to die. Uh, well, maybe. Maybe. If, if 10 num gets two evades... And the crit doesn't turn into a direct hit. Nope, that's a dead 10 now. How many points? That's going to be another 28 points. So we come up to 56 total for the Empire. Risk I have right. to take. Let's see how it paid off. <laughs> and, um, so those are three crits there. You're more than welcome to flip these three crits up. It was only, yep. So now you have a better idea that I stacked your deck full of direct damage. <laughs> that, that's so BM. All right. Um, so Vader went, Tendum gone, and because Vader's on six and Tendum's on four, that's an initiative kill. So just uh, hit, let me, let me take care of you for really quick. Nope, don't even, don't even touch it. It's gone. Don't even miss. All right. Rebels, feel free to retaliate. You've been given oh. a nice juicy Darth Make Vader. All. Come on. Just quit. Darth Vader is worth way more points than 10 num. But you put your target locks on the other things, didn't you? Hmm, decisions. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, so let's think. Dutch Dutch is the first one to shoot, so let's see what Dutch is shooting. Uh, Dutch is instead going to just try to pump into Zertic. I don't know, yeah, because we might not see Darth Vader again for the whole game. Well, I, I know that uh, Slade usually just gets one kill with Darth and then runs away for the whole game. I'm just... Who are we going? Oh, two dice! Have... Two dice means a primary attack, so that must mean... Vader's dead. It must be <laughs> Vader's dead. Yeah, sure. All right, looks like... Oh, but are we aiming for green? Are we aiming for Vader? Who are we aiming for? Ooh, we're aiming for the Don't Dark lie, Lord. Vader didn't do anything. Aiming for the Dark Lord. Looking to get them Don't points. Do like oh, Don't do him like that. Two dice naked into Vader. One hit. Vader getting... Ooh, and Vader is actually obstructed, technically. So, four dice. All right, Vader. You got your kill. Don't whiff this one. Almost whiff. You'll have to spend another force if you want to take no damage. I'm spending the force. Burning through those precious, precious resources. Not like you're going to see them for two turns. You're, you're double stressed, so... Okay. That's it. You can get hit. Yep. Do a double blue maneuver. Do a double blue. Yeah. 
just park the car. Um, yeah, everyone right. park. Get out. Let's everyone park. Out. Yeah, let's just chill. Let's watch some Avatar. All right. Um, <laughs> I've already finished that show. Let's uh, see what the Gold Squadron pilot's going to do. Does Gold Squadron have Arc on Vader? They do, but it's going to be a three. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, looks like we I'm can't watching. shoot Zertic because they're at three. But we can shoot at Vader with the Ion well, Cannon. This is weird because I think both the primary and the ion cannon both have arc on Vader. So if we had like veteran turret gunner, we could see both of them go off. What, what was it? You already rolled? They're deciding right now whether or not they want to shoot Vader with the normal guns or the ion. Am I range three? Shot. Not with the ion cannon. Ion it is. Range 2 into Vader. But if it's using ion, oddly enough, at range 2. do Measure that one more time for us. Because I think we draw the line through the, um, <laughs> through the obstacle. Yep, it goes through the debris just barely. So this is going to be right. range two obstructed. So Vader is going to get four defense. And we're rolling three dice with Ion. This is going to be naked. So two hits. Vader needs at least one evade result. And Vader has one more defense right. dice because right. it is obstructed. I thought we said... Okay, yeah, you're right. Okay, so are you spending... You're taking it. All right, so one evade and then just one shield. All right, yep, no ionization. That's pretty smart. Okay, now Zert. Actually, yeah, you know what? We should have we should have made uh, Zertic go first. My bad, because the they have the first player token. But now we're gonna see what's gonna get happen. Get extra dice for that, right? I'm, just <laughs> I'm gonna use my. Yep. Shooting at Dutch Vander with three dice, yep, because you got the lock on them. Pretty good. I feel like it's two dice. Yeah, but that third it? dice is because you got the lock on Dutch. Yes, that's correct. That lock is still there, I think. Yep, good. That's good. Three dice going into Dutch. Okay, target so lock. spending the target lock. Ooh, feels bad. All right, that target lock is gone. So Dutch, got to try to dodge one shot with one dice. Can he do it? Can he do it? Nope. nope. All right, Dutch taking the one damage. Flips his shield. Flip, flip. Pretty tame. Could have been a lot worse. All right. Uh, but now, n now the shot that I really want to see is this uh, blue squadron pilot, this B-wing, that has a range one shot on either Zertic or Vader. So we already put a shield on Vader down. Two more damage into Vader, and that's half points. Oh, we can only shoot at Vader. That just makes this decision a lot easier. But it is obstructed, so Vader is going to be rolling with all four defense dice. So let's see what we got. Four naked dice into Vader. Ooh, got chills. Let's see what happens. Oh, one hit. And one evade. Yep. It shows mods are so important. This tight, 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 tight. Vader be sweating bullets right now. Vader's like, this is just like Moose the Far. All right, so let's let's yeah, check. Can we, we, can we check for a range on Vader? Uh, not really. You already killed uh, Ted Num with Vader. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're, you're running on your Academy pilots now. All right, let's let's try to. So all the, the academy pilots did their K turns, took the stress to get some free shots. Let's get some work. 
do that work. All right, we got uh, range two Ram. into Dutch or range two but obstructed into the goal. Looks like we're going for Dutch. We already got damage on Dutch. Dutch boy. All right, so two dice naked into Dutch from the Tie Fighter here. Dutch oven. Okay, got a hit. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, crit and uh, focus result. So Dutch gets one defense dice here. Rolling that dice. Focus result. All right, so takes it in the shield. Dutch is down with no shields. Right in the shield. All right, who else got arc? Maybe these are range three shots. This is very far. Oh nope. So not on the Y wings, but we could definitely put some some dice down range onto the B wing. So this is gonna be brown into blue squadron pilot. That B wing at range three. That B wing hasn't taken any damage yet. I want to just go for it. Wait, we can't hit the yellow gold squadron. Nope, yeah, I don't got range. Okay, so just one hit. B-Wing is rolling one defense dice plus one for being at range three, so two defense dice total. Man, time flies. We've only got ten minutes left in the game. I said we have four more turns. This is probably going to be the last turn, to be honest, at the speed this is going. Double Damn. evade! Uh, fucking all right, yellow still got a shot. Yellow can shoot at the B wing, but that's gonna be range three obstructed. B wing getting three defense dice, unheard of. One crit. All right, just need one of eight dice on that B wing. Three dice on that B wing for being at range three as well as being obstructed. So let's see what we got. Oh wow, that sucks. All right, just one shield. That's still nothing. Right? Yeah, that's that's really not, but but it, it adds, it adds, and you keep chipping. All right, I mean, ain't no more shots to shoot, so clear your greens. This is the end phase. If you've got a Dutch thing to do, do the Dutch thing. Do the Dutch doing. It's really the agile gutter thing, not the Dutch thing. The Dutch thing is the target locks. Yeah? You you good? Um Let's go. I'm going to have yep. to try it. Yep. Just look at the clock, I look at the that. points. That's all you got to do. All right. Yeah, I'm look at the points. See the clock. It's like, yep. 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 <laughs> yep. All right. Let's let's kick it off then. Systems skip. Go right into activation. TIE Fighters, do your thing. Green, clearing a stress, taking a stress, 
because they are unfortunately on the thing. So basically, a net gain of two. They basically still have two stress. Um, and then ro rolling for crit. Yeah, that's right. But they are off the debris. That's what matters. And potentially they're blocking safe. Very good. Honestly, if green gets a block right here, I'm gonna be so proud. All right. Let's see what Brown's got. Yep, clearing the stress, so no stress, and they're getting their action here. <laughs> Looks like they're going for the focus. Yep. And now we got yellow. All right, still 2-4 clears the stress, even if it is a partial, but no action. All right, yeah, we're we're creating a little bit of a blocker field right now. Not bad, not bad. Uh, all right, now let's see what the uh, blue squadron pilot does. That B wing. Honestly, that's what those Tie Fighters are there for, though. I won at twenty two points. They're meant to block. All right, B wing doing B wing things. Looking for a talent roll on what one? Yeah. All right, trying to do a talent roll. Hold on, talent roll about to go down. Hold on. About to go down. Yep. Talon roll to the right. I honestly don't think there's going to be room to do that talon roll, so we're probably going to see a bump here. Mm. Yep, and on top of debris, so that is double stress and rolling for crit. However, depending on which direction Vader goes, they still might have arc. Um, so, so that's double stress, yeah. not not triple, uh, not triple for that. Okay. So you get rid of one stress, you should have two stress, and then you're gonna roll. I will do that because that's more dice. This is not not for the not for that B wing. Only ten them like stress. All right, you're safe. All right, ready. Uh, nope, Zertic. <laughs> Very good. Yep, putting yourself right in the hit, um, into the thick of it, Zertic. All right, so what's your play here? We got lots of Rebel target locks, but are you going to put one out of your own? You are. You can put it on the gold squadron, okay. Cool, cool. All right, gold squad. Squad goals. One forward, oof. Zertic yeah, be like oops. calculated. Oops, city. All right, so clears their stress. And then what's what's ah. Yellow's play here? What was Yellow's action? Okay, they're taking a focus because okay. their gun's are already now. in the right spot. And red. I'll look for it later. I'm recording. So it looks like Dutch tried to move forward, but they did bump. Uh, still, that's a lot of yep. arcs pointing in where I think Vader is going to go. So is let's. That it? That's it. That's all the Rebels moves. Five forward. Ooh, he getting away. He getting away. Now he's stacking stress like crazy right now. Um, so he has. He should have three stress now. Um, and he's going to have to roll for the debris, but he wanted to get out of all of those arcs. All right. And you, do I just roll two or one? Just roll the one. And safe. No, I mean, I, I got to say, that was he's, one of the best moves be, you could have done. You might, but it's I... Vader. You know it's Vader. It, it might not be... Um, you you well, basically you you did a um, a good move basically you took yourself out of three arcs and only put yourself in one. I spent two force points, right? So I don't. Really yeah, sure. So you have. You, yeah, there you go. You should have two left. Perfect. Fantastic. Sure All righty. Um, guess I'll die. That's... Guess I'll die. Let's let's do the stuff. Engagement. Yeah, Vader don't got no shots. Vader ain't got nothing. But All right. That. So let's uh, let's keep going it. going down the line. Uh, Dutch can do stuff. Keeping it. <laughs> Dutch is like, man, which which lock do I want to use? Man! Alright. Oh, Dutch actually doesn't have a lock on green. Oh. And brown is the weakest one. 
Because they already have a damage on them. Alright, what, what are we looking at? Looking at... What happened? Hold on. Gray is thinking about who Dutch is shooting. All right, going for Brown. Yep. If we get any damage on Brown, that's half points. And with this, what? This is basically the last turn because the clock's about to run out, so. Rolling. Oh, double crit. Double crit from Dutch. All right. Uh, Brown rolling uh, three evades right here. Oh, double evade. Natty out. Natty out. Oof. Who next? All right. Now we go to the gold squad. Well, Zertic actually, because they have the... So who's Zertic shooting? Zertic. Yeah. So... Range one in the gold squad oh. with the lock. That's right, that's four no. dice. That's Whoa. four dice. Whoa. Four <laughs> dice with a lock. All right. All right. Four dice coming in. All right. Three focuses though. Hmm. Yep. You know that he spent the target lock. He's spending that. Yep. So hit, um. hit, crit. ATC turns that into crit crit hits onto the gold squadron, so the Y wing. Not really enough to do half points unless we get a direct hit through, but let's see what they got. Yep, so they block it and they just take two shield down. Very powerful shot by Zerdic. If anybody follows up, that they can definitely go for half points here. Now Gold has a chance, a very slim chance, of basically turning the whole game around and winning right now if they can get two damage onto Vader, because that'll be half points. They got a focus, they got three dice, Vader's only mods is the force. This could be the game winning moment for the Rebels right now. Alright, all right, we'll see. I'm just going to put as much pressure on the roll as possible. Vader only rolling with three dice here, so we got a crit. I don't know about this. And, I mean, I you if you don't spend the focus, yeah, then there's no way. Up. Yep. So, hit crit. Vader rolling three dice. Four, three dice, yeah. Yep. What? If you don't get two wow. of it, or you need to get at least one to stop yeah. this from happening. So, got the one. Yeah. Yep, even if you took the damage, it's still not halving Vader. But not even taking it. Yep. So just negating all of it. That's why I say those force points. Oh, no, yep. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Uh, only shots left here are from the B wing. So at this point, we're just going for MOV. We've got range one on both uh, brown and yellow. But brown is the weakest. Yep, four dice going into brown. Right. Naked three hits. That's pretty good. Uh, need at least two evades or a focus. You could spend the focus to just take the one so that you can get half as opposed to destroyed. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Why would I not do that? Okay. He's going to do that. Yep, he's doing that. And brown is pilot number four, so they should have to take advantage still. Yeah, but it might not. Half points. I don't know if it's going to. I don't know if it's... So now that turns into 33 here. And so all shots have been shot here by the Rebels. So Empire is going to finish off all the rest of their stuff. They've got a lot of free shots with the TIE Fighters now. And we are now just trying to maximize the gap. Yeah, look, looking for like the ships that are the most damaged, the ships that are closest to giving half points. Yep, Dutch is 
definitely worth the most here. So and and both Dutch and the Gold Squadron pilot, they have the same amount of damage on them. So halving Dutch will give you more points than halving the Gold Squadron pilot. Go for Dutch. What? What? Three dice? Where is this coming from? Who's shooting? That's two. I gotta reroll. Uh, yeah, yeah. If this is yellow shooting, it's just two dice. All right, so one crit onto Dutch, and this is going to be at range two, so Dutch gets the one die here. Oof. Dutch, Dutch needs this because this crit's going right on the hull. Right on the hull. All right, one crit onto Dutch. Oh, boy. And now this is where the direct hits start coming in. Oh, console fire. All right, no direct hit. And honestly, it, it, uh, also that card is going on Dutch, not on the gold squadron. Uh, so Brown has a shot now. Where does Brown shoot? Well, let's see. If I can get Dutch, I will, but I don't think I have a shot. Yeah, Dutch is so one more have... damage away from half points. Let's just go for it. That's Dutch again. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so... Wait, I don't have a focus. So yep, crit. So one crit. <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty good. Dutch needs to dodge another crit here. Yep, taking another crit on Dutch. That's half points. Is that? Uh, you should be getting 28 points additional. Wounded pilot. All right, so doesn't really matter for this phase here. I got it. It was at 56. What's that? 56 plus 28, right? That's right. All right, so what else you got? Uh, Zeta, right? Green shoot. Green needs to shoot, and green honestly no, only has one target. Good. You won't do that. Green? Oh, green? Are you... Oh, yeah, green does that. Yep. So green goes into. Uh, honestly, green needs some really strong crits in order to be able to take out Dutch, but we, we'll see. This is a three die attack. I can't shoot Zertek. Here we go. Oh! Three Jeez. hits. What? Freaking natties. Oh my god. Freaking natties. I mean, Oh, there you go. All right. So two damage on to Dutch. Um, I mean, it's the same. We don't get any more points for uh, putting that much. Godly, man. Holy crap. The, the B Wing did already shoot, and they shot at Brown. They did, yeah. Yeah, they already shot. They ran four dice naked. They got their uh, hit crit, and then uh, Brown basically... Yeah, they got three hits, and then Brown had to spend the focus in order to not get killed. Brown. So that's it. All right. That's all of our shots there, and this is the end of the game here. So we go into the final end phase. Look at all the ships here, and so being that we're out of time, we have to look at our points count. So Empire, you are sitting at 84. Rebels, you are sitting at 33. So congratulations, Slade. You are the winner of game five by points. Well done. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, that was... Thank you very much all for joining us for game five. Yep. You got me sweating bullets a lot of the time. Like I felt like I could. All right. I think it was pretty tight, and it was a very I really it, felt like, like when I did that Vader move. I'm like, like oh, I am dead, dead, dead. Yeah, but you risked it for the biscuit, and it paid off. Uh, like I knew. I was thinking at first maybe I should do a hard. I'm like, hell no, I'm gonna take the risk. And go right for the chance. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us in. We've got one more game coming up, so stay tuned for Game 6 of Summer Flight Academy 2020, and then we go into our final award ceremony. Take care.